Do, 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 do. Let's make a super simple animation using the wonderful and free drawing program Fire Alpaca. And then we'll put that animation into a free video editor, DaVinci Resolve. Okay, go to the Fire Alpaca website, www.firealpaca.com. I'll put a link down below. There's a version for both Windows and Mac. Nihongo ban mo arimasu. Download the program, open it up. Every time you start Fire Alpaca, an advertisement will pop up, but it's not so bad. Just close it. Okay, now go to File and New. Here you can choose your drawing pad size. You can do 2560, 1080, or 480. There are some others. If you choose 480, it's a small canvas size, and you won't be able to zoom in very far before the image starts to get really pixelated. I choose 2560 just because I can, and YouTube allows that size. Just a side note, the representation of my screen that you're seeing now looks transparent, or the checkered background, but on my computer it looks like a white background that I can draw upon. You can choose different brushes. This is a watercolor brush. Uh, you can make it a thinner. That's a thinner brush or thicker. There. You can change your colors. This is a yellow and you can see when you change this, this is the color that you'll be drawing or that will show up on the screen. So here's a blue. Uh, it's changed to pink, changed to red, and if you want to make it a darker red or um, change it around, this is salmon colored maybe. Um, here's yellow, a darker yellow, just move this down that way. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to go back to black and white, and I think you just go down to the black area, and it's turned to black. There you go. Now to get rid of anything, you go to edit and undo. Or you can go to this left arrow here, undo, undo. Now if you wanna redo something, you go to this right arrow, it's redo, 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 redo. If you want to erase something, choose this eraser tool and you can also change the size of the eraser tool to much something much smaller, there you go. If you want to get rid of everything immediately, go to Fire Alpaca, this image, and Clear Layer. Okay, now I'm gonna get started with animation. So choose this pull-down menu, Animation Mode. Click on that. You've just turned Fire Alpaca from a drawing program into an animation program, and this page in front of you is the base layer of your animation. Okay, before you go any further, you might want to save your work. So let's give it a name and save it. Save this as Line Falling. And the format is MDP. That's Fire Alpaca's format. We'll save that. And as you go through and you add um, more animation, you might want to continually save it. Sometimes there are computer crashes and you want to be able to get your work back or open it up again if something happens. So let's draw something on this base layer. How about a line? In a flip book, you place the next page above the animation you've drawn and the next page above that and the next page above that. And when you draw on all the pages, you can flip up through the images and it looks like an animation. So let's draw a page or a layer on top of the one we just drew. Go to the top left pull down menu, look for layer and add. You've just added a new layer or page on top of your animation. Do you see the red line at the bottom of your page? That's you looking through your top page to the page below. And because you can see this, you know how best to proceed in your next frame or page or layer. Let's draw this line longer. 
and then you could go up to the top to the left to add a layer if you wanted to but that takes some time to always open that so go over to the right and you can see the layer area and this little image here click on that it opens a layer draw your next line longer open another layer and it you see it made a fourth layer let's fast forward through adding layers and drawing and adding layers Okay, that's about it. 66 frames in total, and I've added a couple blank frames at the end just to separate it in case I put this animation in a loop. If I want to see what it looks like, I'm going to go up to the animation at the top, click on that, and autoplay. And that will open a window that we can see what my animation looked like. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, okay. In this player at the bottom left, you can change your frame speed just to see what it looks like faster or slower, but it only changes the frame speed in the player, not the animation that you're going to be producing and exporting somewhere. It's just fun. It, it's nothing special. Okay, so that's a video. Now what do you do? You can go up to the top left, File, and export as GIF and uh, save. How many frames per second do I want? 12 frames per second. Click on that and there's the falling line right there. So I'm going to click on that and I think it opens in photo application in Windows or if you're on Mac I guess QuickTime. So anyway that's what it looks like. It's pretty simple. Go back to Fire Alpaca and next, let's export this animation as a series of images. All the layers will be different frames. And we'll put those frames into a digital video editing program, DaVinci Resolve. Let's create a folder called Animation Images. We'll keep all our pictures, our layers, our frames in there. This question, transparent the background is asking if I want the background to be transparent or opaque. Opaque means you can't see through it and it looks like animation on white paper. So I'm going to click no and it will look like animation on white paper. Let's open these animation files. They're all there. PNG is a picture format. So we want to put these into DaVinci Resolve. So let's open DaVinci Resolve. Let's start an untitled project. Now let's save this as, save project as line animation project. All right, save it. Okay, now this is DaVinci Resolve. We've got several different pages. Uh, a media page where you bring in your videos and audio and pictures. This is a cut page which has basic cuts, edits, very simple edits. This is an edit page where you can do more complicated edits. And this is a fusion page. It's like a special effects editor. This is uh, where you can change your color, your brightness, darkness, hue. Uh, Fairlight is an audio recorder area. It's cleaning up your audio. And a delivery page where you can export videos in different formats like YouTube or something for Vimeo or Tweet, Twitter. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the media page and let's bring our, our file you want to move the whole file into this holding area 
for animations. Not each picture, but the entire file. Okay, let's close that. And now you see it's in the program, but we need to drag it down to the media pool, which is right here. Okay, and there it is. It's in the media pool. The media pool is where you keep all of your audio and video that you're going to be use, using in your uh, edit. Okay, let's move over to the edit page and you can see this is the media pool again. It's represented in, in this area. Let's move it down to our timeline, our edit timeline. Okay, and we can uh, play it. Let's play it. Plays right there. There we go. And if we want it to uh, be on a loop, just go ahead and click that and play it. And now it's on a loop. Okay, let's stop that. Now let's export this. Okay, let's move down to the deliverer page. And we're going to do a YouTube. And let's call this falling line animation. All right, and where do we want to save it? Let's save it to the desktop. Okay, falling. And right now it's a .mov file. That's a kind of movie file. But let's just change it to MP4. So this format, you can, I think QuickTime is MOV, but I like MP4. And I think everything is okay. And let's click Add to Render Queue. All right, and now it's over here and we want to render all. So click it and render all. And it's done in less than a second. Let's minimize this page. And here is our animation, MP4 animation. Let's click on it. There it is. But we don't want it to be this fast. So let's click on that, uh, open our DaVinci again. And here, uh, in the deliver page, you have the you have only the option of 30 frames per second in this section, so this doesn't help us. Let's go back to the edit page and click on this. Right click on it. Right click on your image and change clip speed. All right, and here it shows 30 frames per second. Go ahead and click on that and change it to. 12. I want mine to be 12. Uh, now let's try it. Let's just try it and see what happens. And let's play it. So the line is going up, but it's not falling down. So something's wrong. So let's control Z it, undo what we just did. And there's our line the way it was. Let's right click it again, go up to change clip speed change it to 12 and this time hit ripple sequence so as it's slowing it down it makes the clip longer so that all of the frames all of the pictures that I you that I made will be in the edit okay ripple it ripples it out change it oh there we go okay let's play it nice Everything's there. Okay, now let's export this. So let's go to the deliver page and line, falling line animation. Let's call this two and desktop 30 frames per second. That's the format, but inside the animation, only 12 frames per second will be running because we just changed that. And add to render queue, click on that, render. Okay, let's see what happened. So here's Falling Line Animation 2. And it's slower. All right, so that was fun. We made an animated video and it had a white background. Next time, let's try it again with not a white background and an opaque background, but let's choose transparency. And then let's see what we can do with animation on top of transparency in a video and see what that does. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.